Okay, so the portfolio beta, just like uh, has a, a couple of ways we can calculate the portfolio beta, but the, the easiest one is that the portfolio, the beta of the portfolio is the weighted average of the beta of the assets, right? Just like when we were talking about expected returns, we could calculate the expected return of the portfolio as the weighted average of the expected returns of the assets. Well, here we're given the betas for our four assets. We have the weights from our four assets. So we multiply the weights times the betas and the beta of the portfolio is the weighted average of the portfolio betas. So we can calculate the beta of the portfolio, right? And we could, right? We could have the weight of Yahoo times the beta for Yahoo plus the weight of Coca-Cola times the beta for Coca-Cola plus, right? All the way out. So we can do that here. Weight of Yahoo in the portfolio, 13.3% times the beta for Yahoo, 2.685, plus the weight of Coca-Cola in the portfolio, 20% of our portfolio is Coke. The beta for Coca-Cola, 0.195, plus 26.7% of our portfolio is in Intel, and the beta for Intel is 2.161, plus the remaining 40% of our portfolio is invested in Keithley, which has a beta of 2.434. Do our algebra correctly, and we get a combined beta of 1.947. And again, notice that we formed a portfolio here that reduces our maximum beta, our maximum exposure to systematic risk. And of course, as we already talked about, it by definition, also reduces our, re our expected return. Our hope, though, is that it reduces expected return by less than it, it reduces our risk.